Who is this? Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Please, come in. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. Nights are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. The phone is just down the hall. Lay a store on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? Certainly, doctor. Of course, where exactly are you right now? Sorry we couldn't be more help at this moment. Uh, stay safe, and if you get any more information, don't hesitate to call us back. Your tea is ready, Doctor. I've set it out there in the sitting room. Please come and have a seat. It should help warm you up. By the way, I've taken the liberty of contacting someone to look at your car. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. Please, dear, do drink your tea. I hope it's to your liking. Um, it's a bit of a blend I make myself. You look quite worn out, if you don't mind me saying. Why don't you stay here for the night? The bedroom is just down the hall, right door. You can get a fresh start in the morning. That's wonderful to hear. <laughs> I hear you moving about. It's best if you try to keep still and rest. Try to relax and let yourself drift off.
Good morning. I hope you slept well despite everything. I just heard your car is all fixed up and ready to go. They managed to sort out the trouble quicker than expected. You must be relieved to hear that. Howdy there, night owls and wanderers of the dark. You're tuned in to the enigmatic waves of Mystic Waves Radio, where the mysteries of the midnight hour come alive. I'm your guide through the twilight, Marlon Gardy. So settle in, folks, because we're about to take a journey into the unknown. Now picture this, folks. A lone figure, Sisyphus, dared to dance with destiny. Not just any dance, mind you, but a bold defiance against the Reaper himself. Yeah, you heard me right. This fellow thought he could give old Death the slip, like some kind of high-stakes game of tag. But you know how the story goes, friends. You can't cheat the final curtain call. Nah, this poor soul didn't get off that easy. Instead of resting easy in the great beyond, he got himself a one-way ticket to an eternal grind. Imagine that pushing a rock up a hill only to watch it roll back down, day in, day out, for all of forever. It's like a never-ending blues tune, ain't it? Each day, same old song, different verse. But you gotta wonder, what keeps a soul going when the odds are stacked against them? Is it stubbornness? Hope? Maybe just plain old foolhardiness? So, as you're cruising down those midnight highways or kicking back in the quiet of your own space, ask yourself, what's your rock? What keeps you pushing, even when the world feels like it's spinning against you? This is Marlon Gardy, your guide through the shadows of the night, signing off for now. But don't you worry, friends. We'll be right here, spinning tales and tunes till the break of dawn. So keep that dial locked and keep on pushing against the odds. Until next time, folks, stay curious, stay courageous, and keep chasing those midnight dreams. This is Mystic Waves Radio, the voice of the night. Who is this?
You're delusional if you think I know who you are. Just leave me alone. Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Please, come in. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. Nights are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. The phone is just down the hall. Lay a door on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? It's always nice to have a warm drink in hand, especially on a cold night like this. Don't you think? Certainly, doctor. That's rough, man. Sorry to hear that. Are you okay out there? Anything I can do to help from here? Speaking of Sarah, how is your project going? Are you making the progress you were hoping for? I can only imagine how hard that must be, especially under the pressure of Sarah's illness. But maybe this unexpected stop is a chance to breathe and not just push harder. Always here for you. Stay safe and let's talk soon. Give my best to Sarah. Your coffee is ready, doctor. I've placed it on the table there in the living room. Please come and enjoy it while it's hot. By the way, I've taken the liberty of contacting someone to look at your car. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. Come sit here, sweetheart. Oh, and while we're enjoying our beverages, do remember to take your pills. It's easy to forget with all that's happened, but your medication must come first.
I hope it was to your liking. It was a bit of a blend you made yourself. You look quite worn out, if you don't mind me saying. Why don't you stay here for the night? The bedroom is just down the hall, right door. You can get a fresh start in the morning. Oh, well, I suppose if that's what you feel is best. Howdy there, night owls and wanderers of the dark. You're tuned in to the enigmatic waves of Mystic Waves Radio, where the mysteries of the midnight hour come alive. I'm your guide through the twilight, Marlon Gardy. So settle in, folks, because we're about to take a journey into the unknown. Now picture this, folks. A lone figure, Sisyphus, dare... Listen to his whining. It's pathetic, isn't it? He still believes you love him. Watching him squirm during these tests is strangely satisfying. I'm a monster. We're all monsters. All of us embracing this cruel science. Who is this? Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Oh, I'm sorry, but the phone's cord won't reach this far. You'll need to come in to use it. I assure you, it's quite safe here. Of course, I understand, but the night can be treacherous out here, especially alone.
So waiting in your car isn't working as you hoped? Please come in. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. Nights are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. The phone is just down the hall. Lay a store on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? It's always nice to have a warm drink in hand, especially on a cold night like this. Don't you think? Certainly, doctor. your emergency. I understand, sir. Can you tell me anything about your surroundings? Are you in immediate danger from anyone there? Stay calm, sir. A patrol is being sent out. Stay in a safe spot and don't do anything stupid. Your tea is ready, doctor. I've set it out there in the sitting room. Please come and have a seat. It should help warm you up. By the way, I've taken the liberty of contacting someone to look at your car. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. Come sit here, sweetheart. Apologies about your car still not being fixed. It must be frustrating to deal with this situation. You know, doctor, instead of waiting around here, why don't you try pushing your car up the hill a bit? There could be more options for help or repairs once you're away from this isolated spot, what do you think? Apologies. You know, doctor, there could be more. Today on Channel 7 News. Despite the passing of nine long months, Dr. Eolides remains in a mysterious and unexplained state of hallucinatory coma. Astonishingly, reports indicate that neither his hair nor his nails have shown any signs of growth during this time, raising more questions than answers about his condition. 
What's more, there are no visible signs of aging, leaving medical experts baffled and the public intrigued. Despite exhaustive efforts by top specialists, there has been no breakthrough in awakening him from his surreal slumber. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this perplexing medical mystery. Who is this? Oh dear, a broken car? That's unfortunate. I'm not used to visitors, especially not out here. Would you like to come in and use my phone to call for a tow? Or perhaps I can get you a nearby mechanic. Please, come in. I'm glad to offer a helping hand to someone in need, especially on such a night. Nights are unforgiving here, and the woods are not kind to strangers. It's better to be indoors where it's safe. The phone is just down the hall. Lay a store on your left. It's a bit secluded, but you'll find it quite private for your call. By the way, when you return, would you prefer tea or coffee? Certainly, doctor.
worried sick about you. You've been so absorbed with that stupid experiment lately. This obsession of yours. Please, just promise me you'll be careful. I need you here, safe and sound, not chasing after the impossible. Don't you ever use that concoction on yourself. Your tea is ready, Doctor. I've set it out there in the sitting room. Please come and have a seat. It should help warm you up. By the way, I've taken the liberty of contacting someone to look at your car. They should have it fixed by tomorrow. Come sit here, sweetheart. Are you happy, Aeolides? 